Okay, guys, so to finish the galaxy distance and speed uh, assignment that you started yesterday, uh, I'm just going to recap what you did in case you have any uh, questions you forgot. Um, and then I'll show you how to finish up what we did. So real quick, again, hydrogen has a very distinct line at 656 nanometers. And then we are going to look at the uh, the spectra of the galaxies A through D, and we're going to look for that red uh, emission line at 656 nanometers. Again, here's the spectrum of galaxy A, and we can see that that uh, emission line is shifted to the red end of the spectrum. It's at 725 approximately. And so the amount of redshift would be 725 minus 656, and that gives us 69 nanometers. So for the first part, you have to, and I don't have it on this uh, sheet here, you would record that the peak emission line is at 725 nanometers. And then for this part here, you do the subtraction, you find the difference, and right here you would record 69 nanometers. Uh, then you're de to determine what percent uh, of a shift that is. So you take the 69, you divide by six, uh, 656, and if you do that, you get 0 0.105, which is 10.5%. So you would record that number there. Again, that same number gets reported down here as well. And then it's saying, calculate the speed, uh, the recessional speed of galaxy A. So you would take 10.5% of the speed of light, which would be how fast it's going. And then so you take the fraction form of that, 0 0.105 times 300,000, and that gives you a velocity of 31,550 kilometers per second. So you do the exact same thing for stars B through D, and hopefully most of you have this already done, um, but you just follow that form. OK, so then on this next page, I kind of have all of the galaxies outlined for you here. So again, here is that very bright red line uh, and it should be right at 656 nanometers for hydrogen. And then here are the four galaxies that we're looking at. And again, you can see that peak where the peak is for each of the four galaxies and they are shifted by various amounts. OK, so you would first report what those numbers are. Um, we already did Galaxy A. If I look at Galaxy B, um, it looks to be around 668 or so. Um, and then you just keep doing that. OK, so then once you have all that information, again, um, we already went through the Galaxy B appeared to be the closest galaxy and Galaxy C appeared to be the farthest. So it asks you to put that on a graph and the graph is not a very good graph, but you're basically going to um, put it on here by putting B closest and then we had C the farthest and then it went B, D, A, C, right? Um, so when you're filling out that sheet, uh, I'm going to click on it here, uh, it tells you that you can double click on the graph below to edit it. So you're just going to double click on it and that will bring this up. And then that allows you to uh, alter this document here. So um, if I want to put my letters here, so if I want to put B as being the closest galaxy, I just grab a text box, put it over here, and I can enter galaxy B, and then I can do the same things over here. Over here, it wants the speeds of the galaxy, um, so you'll put those speeds down, um, and then you will connect with a line, so you can click over here, click on an arrow, um, and then your arrow will look something along these lines and you'll put that in there and then it will just say save and close and you will see that it will pop it in there for me right there okay um so i'm gonna undo that so it's not messed up for you um and then uh you'll just finish these questions right here and you'll be all done and that's it okay